February 1998, Nagano, Japan. The competitors and spectators arrive, and the world's biggest sporting event is about to begin. Everybody want ticket out, ticket out, ticket out, Dimashka. The first female hockey players ever to march into an Olympic stadium are the women who skate for Canada. I think the memory I'll take away is just being with my teammates and with all the other Canadian athletes and getting to meet them and, and telling jokes before waiting to get out there and uh, just the whole Canadian feeling. I mean, I feel so Canadian right now. Well, the trip itself has been unbelievable. When we left Toronto, I didn't know what to expect. Yeah, nice to meet you. And to know that it's the home of my in-laws, they're so friendly, they're so open. And I guess the fact that uh, Vicky is in the Olympics makes it even more special for the family. Stealing time away from her team, Vicky Sanahara is given a hero's welcome by her father's relatives in Japan. I'm here in Emoto. Oh! <laughs> I can't believe all the people that came came here today. This I feel like the maybe the queen right now. Oh, Munami? Sunahara? Oh, hi. Oh, oh. Nice to meet you. No, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. That's my father. That's my mother and father. Yeah. I've seen that picture before. That's the winning picture. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tell them that the plane's not going to be able to get up in the air. My plane, it won't be able to get up in the air with all these presents. <laughs> oh, I see, too many. Yeah, I see. Because I am playing in the Olympics, I really didn't get a long enough time to visit. Hopefully, I'd like to um, come back in the future. Bye, 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 bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Gosh, wasn't that something? The first round of Olympic competition, the first goal for Canada, scored by Danielle Goyette, hours after learning of her father's death. The Americans storm through their games, beating all comers. Despite injuries and roster shuffles, the Canadians also defeat Japan, China, and Sweden. And in the game against Finland, they come into their own. The two hockey superpowers are tied, and a showdown looms. seen a lot of Cassie because there's tight security for them. We were blessed to get a chance to go to Athletes Village under special um, appointments. They have everything they could possibly want there. It's all in one building, so the athletes aren't hurting any. I think the girls are very tense in many ways. They can't wait to that final day. In general, I think they're, they're doing pretty good. Menon Rayom. Perhaps the player most used to public scrutiny is handling the pressure well. For a brief hour or so, she shows her family around the Olympic Village. Until their last game is played, curfew will be strict. The media kept at bay, and the Olympic Village and venues the only world the players know. Okay, uh, 
Into this global village pour messages of support for team members from friends and fans at home in Canada. For the families who have managed to come to Nagano, the Japanese Hockey Association has arranged billeting and a range of cultural activities. Haley Wickenheiser's parents are being taken by their hosts to an ancient Shinto shrine as they wait for their daughter's next game. We're underway in the first period, the final game of the round robin here in Nagano. Both of these teams have already qualified for the gold medal game with their 4-0 records. This one is all about psychological advantage going into the championship. Remember, Canada already short by two players tonight. The Americans running four full lines. Canada comes back for Heffer. Cheese hit at center ice, and there's going to be a penalty here. And then a high stick to the face of Goyette, and Cheese writhing in pain, and there's a whistle. Heffer takes it off the stick of Angela Ruggiero. She's knocked into the boards, and there's going to be a penalty here, and Heffer is hurt. See Shannon Miller looking over at Ben Smith, and I thought that both teams would play this way. It is Team USA who has had the most of these big hits. They're a little cheap. Here's Brazil winding up. Shot scores! The Costa couldn't see it. It's 4-1 Canada. Team USA has dug themselves a hole because of those penalties. Late in the third period, the American coach calls timeout. Canada's best shooters have survived the U.S. hits to score. But when play resumes, America leads a charge that leaves Canada reeling. Price is centered in front, shot by King, saved, another shot, scores! Another chance, same play, scores! By with a shot, rebound, Schmingdahl, scores! Shot, it's loose, it's in! As the horn sounds to end the game, six straight unanswered goals by the U.S. as they come back from a 4-1 deficit to beat Canada 7-4. Bad blood between these teams is made worse by an insult hurled at Canada's top scorer. Unfortunately, one of their players said something to one of our players, to Daniel Goyette, about her father, and then laughed in her face, and it made Daniel Goyette start crying. And then she skated off the ice. And so I have a lot of respect for Cami Ganado, that's their captain. And I just felt she needed to know that that happened and uh, nobody minds losing hockey games, but I think that's uncalled for and I'm sure that she'll handle it within her team. Oh, well, nice, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. What a great player. We met Ron the other night and he said we had to meet you. He's a great player. Can we get our picture taken? Oh, yeah. Can you go on the other side? Oh, yeah. Here, I'll go right here. Oh, you can go on the other side. Oh, I like you in the middle. We're here at the Big Hat, and this is where we're hoping to get right from the start. I think the loss the other night will in no way discourage them. I think, in fact, it will be perhaps a little wake-up for them, and they're going to go out, and I think they're going to have a tremendous game, and I'm... I'm I think the home side is going to come through and win here. I, I'm very optimistic, and I think that uh, I'm hoping, and I think Haley have a good game. Her arm's hurting a bit still, but uh, she will play. She's been having trouble putting it in the net, but I believe in this game that uh, we're going to find her playing her best. She's a, a pressure player, plays better when she's under a lot of pressure, and I think you're going to find her coming out tonight at the top of her game. The whole team is. We're going for gold. It's ours.